This is Kelly from Essex Ham and welcome to Foundation Online, getting you started with amateur radio. Hello and welcome to a short video looking at how to set up an amateur radio station. Until 2021, when you were taking your Foundation licence, you were required to do a practical exercise showing how to connect everything together. Since 2021, that's no longer required. Nonetheless, we'll walk through the process anyway, as it might fill in some of the blanks for you. So the old practical exercise was to connect a power supply to the radio, to connect a filter, the SWR meter, an antenna matching unit and the antenna. So let's walk through the basics. We'll start off with our 12 volt power supply. This would normally plug into the mains, 230 volts AC, and give you 12 volts at the terminals, plus and minus. You would connect your radio's black and red leads from the radio into the power supply. Looking at the radio side of things, it already has the power leads built in, so nothing to do there. And the first thing you'd be looking at doing is connecting a lead off to your antenna. On the back of this radio, you can see two sockets. One is for HF and one is for VHF UHF. Here we're plugging our coax with a PL259 into the HF socket. When you're connecting up your amateur radio station, you're likely to need a number of patch leads. These are typically fairly short leads with a PL259 plug on each end. You can either buy these online or if you're handy with a soldering iron, make them much cheaper yourself. To be honest, it's unlikely that you're going to need to connect in a filter to your amateur radio station, but we'll show you what one looks like and where to connect it. So for this, you'd go out of the radio's HF antenna lead and into the filter, with another lead going out from the filter into the next piece of equipment. As I say, you only really need a filter if there's a risk of causing interference. The next thing you're likely to need to connect into is your SWR meter. The meter I'm using supports VHF, UHF and HF, and there's a dedicated socket for HF. So we connect the feed from our transmitter, into the transmitter socket, and into the antenna socket, another lead. We're next going to the AMU, the Antenna Matching Unit. In Module 4 we discussed this. This is designed to make sure that the transmitter sees a match from your antenna. We'll connect another PL259 lead into the transmitter side and then one off to the antenna side of things. And from the AMU we would connect direct off to our antenna. This could be an antenna on the roof, in the loft, in the garden or if you're out portable, in a field. As I mentioned at the start of the video, setting up your radio station used to be a part of the foundation course but from 2021 it's no longer mandatory. As a piece of pure history, here's our Kelly doing her practical several years ago. Well, I'm on a training course to get my foundation licence. I was connecting all of the pieces up to start my amateur radio. We started off with the power, then onto the radio itself, then onto a filter. From the filter we went into the SWR, which then goes into the ATU, and then out to the antenna. That's a look at station setup. Now we're going to take a quick look at how to use the controls on your radio. So now we know how to connect everything together. Let's have a look at the basic operation of a radio. The radio I'm using here is a Yaesu FT857, which is great because it offers VHF, UHF and access to the HF bands. And a basic look at the controls. We've got the volume control here. We have something called the squelch. Now radio has a natural noise. It sounds a bit like this. can be uncomfortable to listen to that, so what we do is we use the squelch control to get rid of that sound. Right on the edge of the squelch, so the squelch starts here. And we're just working to get rid of the white noise, as low as you can get it so you can hear the weakest possible signal. There's our volume control here, and this control here changes our frequency. So fairly basic operation, that happens to be on the 2 meter band and then we would look at other bands. So here I can go down to, uh, let's have a look at, there we go, so this is 20 meters, which is HF. Thank you. 
So here we can see the signal strength meter. So the main station there is a signal strength of nine on the meter. We're operating on upper sideband as we cover in the course. You can adjust the volume or move to other frequencies. You can also change the modes. So here, upper sideband, CW, AM, FM, digital mode, packet radio, lower sideband, upper sideband. But of course, we're over 10 megahertz, so it's upper sideband. That's the basic operation of a radio. That's it for this short video, a look at station setup and using an amateur radio. We hope you found that useful. For more information on setting up your station, go to our website www.essexham.co.uk